In tonight's Eye on the Environment report, the city of Asheville, North Carolina, hoping to turn a junkyard into a park with a little help from the stimulus. Our Carolyn Fortino has more. So this had been some kind of a junkyard, whatever, however you define that, for over 50 years. Karen Cragnellan shows us a victory for Riverlink and the cleanup of pollution on the banks of the French Broad. We're going to do a soil removal and then we're going to do a phytoremediation, which is special plants that you put in the area and over a five or ten year period it actually absorbs all the contaminants through the plant leaves and leaves the soil clean. The Etico company paved the way for the sale of the property by moving to another location and selling the five acres to Riverlink for more than a million dollars. Griffin Wrecking Company removed and recycled 100,000 tons of concrete, clearing the way for the federal $300,000 cleanup. The DOT is installing sidewalks for this new section of the park. This is the missing link. There's no question about it. That means Riverlink has completed a continuous greenway from Carrier Park to the French Broad River Park and beyond. This property could soon serve another function for the Riverside attraction. We are hearing a lot about event space. Tremendous need for people, uh, organizations ourselves even, to have an event on the river. And so having dedicated event space might be just uh, right up our alley. So I think it's, a, it's the equivalent to WPA putting in uh, the Blue, Blue Ridge Parkway. Jogger Bob Cozart says spending nearly a third of a million dollars on river access for people not only suits his hobby, it puts Asheville on the map for people who come here to enjoy the outdoors. I think people will be attracted to a, a nice uh, pedestrian way along, along a natural uh, watershed like that. It's a perfect place. Uh, not only joggers, but uh, families with strollers and dogs and people taking daily walks. Carolyn Fortino, thanks. That's going to do it for us. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 6 and 7.